Hi, my name is Chris Nagus. I'm an instructor for Red Hat and I'm here today to talk to you about our System Administration 1 class and give you a, a short a demo on, uh, on what you can expect if you were to take this class. Now this class is, a, is created for uh, first-time uh, Linux users, for people who possibly have experience doing administration on Windows systems. So uh, we're going to start you off uh, being able to do things uh, that you're familiar with. So work from a graphical interface and be able to uh, do basic uh, features such as create um, uh, printers to be able to add and delete users. Uh, so a lot of uh, things that you'll be used to on other uh, systems, such as Windows systems, we're going to show you how to do that from a command line in Linux. And also show you, uh, start you off first, however, by doing it on a Windows uh, desktop. So we're going to start with, a, a again, a short demo. Uh, in Red Hat Enterprise Linux, we have the ability to um, start a lot of basic system administration things right from the desktop. So if you select uh, system and then administration, you're going to see a bunch of different uh, applications that you can use for configuring your system. We're going to start off with printing. Now to start with printing, we have our printer configuration window. We can simply select the new button, type in the root password, and then uh, we can start creating a printer configuration. Now the printer doesn't actually have to be physically connected for us to configure it, uh, but once it is there then we'll be able to print from our system either locally through say a serial port or a parallel port or through a network connected printer which is what we're going to do here. Now I'm going to select uh, internet printing protocol which is what you would use to connect to printers in Linux or possibly in um, uh, a Macintosh system and I'm going to say that this printer is connected to a system called station one.example.com and the printer itself, the print queue is going to be called my printer. So there you can see when I type that in, you can see the URI, the address that actually will, will point to that printer. We could verify that, but right now it's not actually physically connected, so we're just going to go forward. And then at this point, it's going to uh, go through and say, okay, what are the uh, print drivers that are available for me to use with this printer? So I'm going to say that this is a, just a generic PostScript type printer. I'm going to select forward. And from this generic uh, selection, we could say, okay, let's select a generic PCL printer, generic PostScript printer, a raw queue, or perhaps a text-only printer. So in this case, I'm going to say that it is a PostScript printer and select forward, and then select forward again. Now the short name is going to be uh, my printer, and we're going to have uh, a, a generic human readable name, so um, postscript printer on station one, and then we're going to give it a human uh, readable name, uh, say uh, our location of that file in the closet under the cat so you can find the location of where that particular printer is. So we're going to apply and then authenticate as a root user and then uh, now at this point if we want to we can print a test page so I'm going to select yes to print a test page. We submitted that page and now uh, what we should be able to do at this point is uh, have this printer which is uh, going to be, right now you can see that it's stopped because the actual printer isn't available. Uh, if we wanted to we could change other settings from this page uh, by uh, setting things like access control, who can access it, other printer options as well. Right now though we're going to cancel that and go on. You can see there from the printer configuration window we have the printer configured and at this point we could then uh, open other applications to use that printer or we could actually go to the command line so, for example, from this uh, command line, we can just type LPQ. We can see that right now there is uh, the printer called My Printer. Uh, it has one job uh, that has been printed. It's waiting to be uh, printed. I can type LP stat minus A. I can see that My Printer is ready and accepting jobs. Uh, and uh, I can also print another um, a file right from the command line, LPR. Let's say I just want to print my host file and then there you can see that host file sitting there in the Q2 as well. So you can see that we can set up the printer graphically, we can then use it from any of our graphical applications or we can use it from the command line. Now the next thing I'm going to look at is in the uh, Etsy Cups directory, which is where I am right now, there's going to be files you can use to configure your printer by hand. So instead of using the graphical interface, we could have uh, edited the printers.com file and you can see this is exactly the entry that we just added. This is a uh, printer on station one uh, in the closet that it's a postscript printer, there's a device URI, we can see that it's stopped. Uh, so all the basic information used to configure this printer was set right inside this file. 
We won't edit it right now because the service is running. Now if we want to, we can exit this file and we can also make sure that our CUPS service is running by typing service, CUPS, status, and see that right now our CUPS service is running, the printer is configured, now we can start using it. So that's just a taste of, uh, of training uh, for this, uh, our first system administration class, System Administration 1. Again, this is for people who have not used uh, Linux systems before, but will transition you into some of our graphical tools for using um, system administration, as well as some of our command line tools later on in the class. If you wanted to become an RHCSA, uh, you could uh, go on and take our System Administration 2 class. If you're interested in becoming uh, certified as an RHCE, you could take our System Administration 3 class. We also have other more advanced classes that you could take as well. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this taste of training.